It was Thursday evening. Jesus and the twelve had eaten the Passover feast. Early Friday morning, Jesus was praying in the garden when the betrayer came to the scene. Cheated Jesus with a kiss. Jesus was arrested, the trials had started, questions were piled on him, but he answered none because he already prayed a prayer, let not mine but yours be done. Jesus stood in obedience. The chief priest fervently accusing him, even with the false witnesses, and when they could not put any charge on him, they had him stood in front of Pilate, who found no wrong in Jesus, but the chief priest starting to shout. Pilate was confused, yet he knew he held the destiny of this man in his hands, knowing that the Jewish have a tradition to set a man free on a holy day. He chose a thug, a rebel, a murderer named Barabbas to face the crowd together with Jesus, the son of the living God. Pilate asked the people, All right, who do you want? starting to shout, there is a noise coming out and everyone's saying, we want Barabbas. Yeah, we want Barabbas. Pilate adjured the crowd to release Jesus. Instead they shouted, crucify him, crucify him, crucify him. The most horrific trial had started. Jesus the Savior was on the ground and every leash on his back was just ripping off his skin. Jesus bared all the pain for you and for me. This is called Gospel. The Gospel is the good news of God sending His Son Jesus Christ to this earth to live a perfect, sinless and a selfless life. To give His life as a sacrifice for your life and for my life. 2,000 years ago, He left His heavenly throne, came to this earth to live an earthly life, to be sacrificed on the cross. He was crucified not because of what he had done but because of what you and I had done it was my sins it was your sins that held him up on the cross and nailed on the cross drenched in blood Jesus spoke his final words it is finished but that's not where the story ends because it was not his life that was finished instead it was our condemnation depression stress pain and death which was finished the price you and i had to pay jesus paid it all and he said it is finished saying this jesus died he really died the son of the living god was slaughtered for you no more life, no more breath, it was finished. But unlike others, he did not remain in the grave. And so on the third day, he rose from the grave. Jesus defeated the greatest enemy, death. He rose in victory to give a new life to those who believe in him. Perhaps many watching this video might be thinking, you're not worthy of God's salvation. You may say, I deserve pain, I deserve the chains, and I deserve death. But look what God's saying. I don't care where you've been. I don't care what you've done. Look what Jesus has done. He died to save you. He rose to give you a new life. Jesus conquered death. And because of that, we are no longer slaves to sin. We are no longer slaves to fear. We are His children. He made us His people. God is love and the demonstration of God's love is the cross because of what Jesus did we are free he made us his children he made us his people he brought us from the darkness of this world into his wonderful light so that we could have a new life the giver of salvation is Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. Come to Jesus today and you shall be saved. Come to the cross today and you'll be saved. Today is your day to know Him. Jesus is the only giver of salvation. And if you need it, come to Him. Come to the cross. Because nothing in my hands I bring 
but simply to the cross, I 